Hi everyone, my name is Chloe Bangasser and this is your Canyons News Micro. Firefighters work to stop the Jake fire from spreading any further. Los Angeles released new guidelines on May 26 about reopening places of worship, but a Santa Cruz church has already found new ways to practice the faith while it remained closed. Since March 13th, San Cateri Tecowitha Church of Santa Carita has moved their services online, holding prayers four times a day through Zoom calls. Father Albert Avenido adjusted to the process and helped homes become places of worship. The church has never been closed in reality. You know, the church continues to be vibrant and alive. Although physical contact is limited, Avenido believes no matter the circumstances, his relationship with God remains the same. You can close all the road and God is still in my life. You can switch off the electricity in the whole city and God is still in my life. So my relationship with God should not be limited to a physical, visual relationship. Whether or not the town of Santa Carita is going to officially reopen is still up in the air. In the meantime, citizens have been disagreeing about whether or not we should. It's been over 10 weeks since the U.S. went into lockdown, and with the end date being extended to August, people's unrest continues to grow. Many Santa Carita citizens, like Cameron Prylant, want the city to be up and running once again. We want to open things back up. When we originally shut down, we were told we couldn't overwhelm our health care system. We have not come close to that. Cameron also believes that those who are at risk should stay home, but the rest of us should keep working. But not everyone agrees with him. Juliana Lozada, a member of volunteer group Six Feet Supplies, has a different opinion. She empathizes with small business owners who want to reopen, but she believes that it is still too soon. The pandemic is just something that we need to get um, control over, and we need to do that by flattening the curve. We need to prevent um, the cases from increasing and the number of deaths from increasing by these stay-at-home orders. For Canyons News, I'm Colby Bangasser. Many different schools will be sticking to the online format for the upcoming fall semester, including our own College of the Canyons. With College of the Canyons deciding that the fall 2020 semester will be primarily online, current COC student Christian Perham voiced his concerns and thoughts on the announcement. Personally, like I'm a chem major, so for me it's like I'm not looking forward to it just for all the labs. You know, like everyone's home, mom, dad, it's just for everyone's home, like um, keeping your school sanity in terms with your like family mental um, sanity all that kind of like it's going to take its toll i think it's just day by day everyone's in the same boat you know so just make the best of it everyone's saying it but it's cliche at this point but what else can you say what else can you do online learning seems to be the new norm for schools in the upcoming semesters but for universities of california things are going to be a little different while the california state universities have decided to go online for the fall semester the university of california schools will be opened UC President Janet Napolitano announced earlier this week that campuses will be open and operate on a hybrid format. With this new format, large lectures will be offered online while labs and smaller courses will be in person. This decision to open up is influenced by the need for UCLA and Cal football to play in the fall, a large source of revenue for the universities. An official statement on how the campuses will open is expected sometime in June. Upcoming UC students will no longer need to submit SAT or ACT scores to be considered for admission. Starting fall 2020, the UC Board of Regents has decided to eliminate the requirements for these exams. The president of the board said the decision is a significant change for future admissions. The board announced plans to make its own exam by 2025 to replace the SAT and ACT during a Zoom meeting. Yet, if it cannot, it will use high school grades to evaluate future students. This is good news for those who criticize these exams for being heavily influenced by race and income. The 23-member UC board voted unanimously to eliminate the need for these exams. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching this Canyons News Micro. Once again, I'm Chloe Bangaster. If you want more Canyons News, be sure to check out our pages on sites like Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook.